This video is made for academic purpose only. Otherwise, take the services of a professional. This video. In this video, we will look at a brief introduction of uh, the programming language C. Martin Richards designed and developed basic combined programming language. Kennedy and others ported a BCPL compiler to Multics and GE635 systems. <clears throat> then Kane Thompson modified BCPL and gave it a new name B. In 1971, Dennis M. Ritchie started extending B and added a character type to the language. Character type to the language. He named the slightly extended language NB. B for new. Uh, new B. Richie provided then uh, two data types int for integer and care for character, arrays of them, and pointed to them in NB. Then he gave a new name to the uh, language and the name given was C. He did not give any reason for the name, whether it was in sequence of alphabets, that is A, B and then C or this C was C of BCPL. The model C was complete by early 1973. The language and its compiler were so strong that Ritchie and his team rewrote the entire Unix kernel for PDP-11 only in C. In 1978, the famous book, the C programming language was published. This was written by W. Kearney, Brain W. Kernigan and Dennis M. Ritchie. This was very popularly known as the white book. In, in mid 1980s, the language was standardized by the NCX3J11 Committee, American National Standard Institute. In 1988, the second edition of the book was published having NCC mark on its cover page. You can see it here. So we have different versions of uh, C language. First one was um, uh, passionately known as K and R C, K and R for Kernigan and Ritchie, followed by NCC, then C99, C11, C17. Latest GCC and Visual C++ 2019 have support for C17. We know that C was developed in parallel with Unix. Compilers were developed only for Unix operating system. After some time, Microsoft and others also started developing and supplying C compilers and tools. <clears throat> so let's look at a few of them. Borland C must be given credit to popularize C programming on personal computers. Its Turbo C 2.0 dominated the college computing environment in Microsoft disk operating system days. This product had excellent integrated development environment, debugging facility, project utility, and other attracting features. Turbo C attracted students due to non-standard graphics related functions, non-standard graphics related function and it had support for assembly language programming and basic input output system and DOS support through DOS.h header file. Actually we could use you can say this function int 86 which was used to generate software interrupts and use uh, directly the hardware. Turbo C 2.0 had tlib.exe, tlink.exe, 
tlib for librarian, tlib for turbo linker as part of the product under command prompt. And the command line compiler, which most of the students don't know, is tcc.exe. Okay. Microsoft Corporation has a very rich history of producing compilers and tools for C language. Microsoft products for C started becoming popular since uh, mid 1980s. Quick C series was very popular during 1987 and 89. <clears throat> All versions of Quick C, that is 1.0, 2.0, 2.01, 2.50, 2.51, were purely for MS DOS. They provided graphical user interface like character user interface, integrated debugger, make utility, a little bit of debugging utility, help facility, and other few options for environment, display, make, and debugging. All Quick Speak products had command line compiler called qcl.exe also. Command line and make for make utility link for linker, lib.exe for librarian, they were also part of the product. Microsoft produced Microsoft C compiler for professionals also with versions 4.0, 5.0, 5.1, 6.0 and CC++ 7.0 in different years, 1985 through 1992. All these were for DOS-based systems. They had rich IDE, programmer's work, workbench uh, was the interface for the user. And this code view, this code view was a very powerful debugger. You cannot even imagine the power uh, of code view. Version 6.0 was the most popular among C compilers for professionals. Then comes a Unix CC. C compiler is the default compiler for any Unix operating system or its flavors. The compiler name is CC, C for compiler, for C compiler. We know that Unix is case sensitive and hence to invoke C compiler on Unix, one has to type at the command prompt or shell prompt this. CC is the name of the compiler. Assuming that xyz.c is the name of the source file and this key is the enter key. And sometimes you will find this uh, uh, under the name return on some keyboards. By default, the result of uh, uh, the compilation under Unix operating system would be a dot out a for assembler. And this file is an executable file. To execute it, type it the shell prompt or command prompt a dot out. Remember, irrespective of the name of the source file, default output file name would be a dot out. So type at the command prompt a dot out and press return key. In your setup, it may be required to type dot a dot out instead of a dot out. Dot here means the current directory or folder. Then comes Linux GCC, which I'll be using uh, for all remaining videos on C language. This operating system that is Linux was designed by Linux P. Toadwall in the early 1990s. And without any doubt, it is the operating system of choice other than Microsoft Windows. It is gaining popularity. In fact, it has gained popularity due to large number of open source and free software and compilers. Like Unix, Linux also provides default C compiler, default C compiler, GCC for GNUCC. It is just like CC, but has many more options, including capability gener to generate code for other platforms. Actually, GCC is a family of compilers family of compilers.
Linux GCC, except source programs written in languages like Java, C, C++, Ada, Assembler, Fortran, etc. And also, GCC is the basic requirement for most of the packages and tools developed for Linux. C bindings are available for database servers and other languages like PHP, Python, etc. They also exist under Linux operating system. That is all in this video. For more videos, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.